What's up guys? Um, first, I just want to apologize real quick. Last week I had so much going on, I wasn't able to make a video, but hopefully you guys stayed busy anyway. Today we're going to do a song from the Misfits called London Dungeon. Now what I did, I uh, made a version that's sort of a cross between what they did on the studio version and um, what they do on the live versions. And I did that because some of the stuff they did live would probably sound a little bit cooler, especially if you're the only guitar player. This is another one that's good practice for our power chords. Um, there's some cool rhythms in there, and we have a really fun, catchy riff in it. So let's zoom in and do it. Okay, before we get going, make sure to hit subscribe so you can play along with us each week. And I'm in standard tuning, and it is in standard tuning on uh, the studio version. But on some of the live versions, they tune everything flat. So they tune the E to E flat and A to A flat and so on. But we're going to do it, you know, just in standard tuning. Three, four. Okay, that first riff, that's all on the sixth string. We start off with an open. That was zero. Then I slide into the seventh fret, so grab somewhere below. Um, I'm, I'm using my third finger, and I'm going to slide into the seventh fret. So far, we have zero, seven. Now I have three, five, three, two. All together. So that's one, so we have to play it four times in the beginning. So here's a few more. chord that I keep on ringing out. That looks just like an E minor, and you could play an E minor. Zero, two, two, zero, zero, zero. But I'm not hearing the third string. So you can play that if you want to, but I'm letting one of my fingers touch it to kind of mute that string. Now right after I strummed through the whole chord once, I'm going to go just to the lowest sounding three strings. So strings six, five, and four. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use down up picking, but if you want to, you could go all down picking. But I'm gonna go the whole chord once, and then just on the low strings, two and three and four and. Now I play a power chord on the fifth fret on the sixth string, and I'm gonna hit it three times. Down, up, down. Then I went to the third fret, Hit it three more times, and then two times on the second fret. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. All right, now before I show you the next riff in the song, I'm going to start off. I'm going to show you first a way that I would probably play it if um, if I wanted to play this live and I was the only guitar player. Only um, I would also probably include a couple of uh, the little things from the way that I'm going to show you after this. I hope that made sense. I'm going to show it to you a couple of different ways. Three, four. Okay, that started off with a power chord on the sixth string, so one, three, three. And I'm only gonna play the sixth string with palm muting two times first. One and, and then I'm gonna take off the palm muting and hit all three strings. And I do that four times, so it would sound like this. One, ring out on that big chord, that big E5 chord, and it's during the time that I'm ringing this out that if I was going to play this I would probably include a couple of those other little licks, but you'll hear those in a minute. Um, then we go back to the F chord and we do all that again, E5 again. 
Then I go back to the chord on the first fret. E5 again. Then I go back to the first fret again. And then I move it up to the third fret and I'm gonna do the same type of thing. Now in the studio recording and sometimes when they're playing it live, um, instead of doing that part down here, they slide into an octave on the 8th fret of your 5th string. So um, it would be nothing, then 8, nothing, and 10. That's the little octave shape we're going to use. We play that there. One, two, three, four. Then I slide it up to the 12th fret on the same string. And then I move that shape up to the 6th string and I slide it down to the 8th fret. So now I have 8, nothing, 10. So far we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I go to that big chord. Now, we could let another guitar play this, but if we're just playing it with one guitar, we definitely need to get that in there. I put my finger on the second fret of the third string and I'm going to play the third and the second string at the same time and quickly slide into the fourth fret. And then I slide back down to the second fret and I'm, again I'm going to hit the second and the third string but I'm only holding down the third string. I hit it one time there and then I hit it again and I pull my finger off. So that whole part was one and two and three and four. Now during that time that that chord rings out, there's really a lot of other things you could do. He plays it differently in, um, in a lot of different versions. Um, sometimes he slides up to the 12th fret on the second string and he just holds that note. So instead of playing this note, he just, he just slides into the 12th fret and kind of shakes that string a bit. Um, sometimes he plays that note and does a little, a little trill onto the 13th fret. And sometimes even a couple of them. Other times he just tries to get feedback there, and then another thing is I, I've even heard a version where he kind of plays the first fret, does little bends on that. Um, but you know, we could start off just ringing out, and then put in whichever lick you want to. After that we go back and we uh, start that off again, so we have an octave on the 8th fret, slide it up to the 12th, slide down to the 8th on the 6th string. And then we slide it to the 10th fret on the 5th string. Now one more thing, if you're listening to uh, the studio version and we get to that second riff, it can be really hard to make out anything really other than that big open chord. But if you're listening to any of the live versions, you can hear how we can get those other power chords in there too. Let me know if you're having any trouble piecing the riffs together. And, uh, you know, just have fun with this. Part of the reason why I made this channel is I just want to help people have fun. You know, so have fun playing this, play it for somebody else, share it with people. And, uh, you know, life's way too short to spend it working all the time. And a quick question. Recently I heard a couple of uh, different people say that they would only listen to old Misfits with dancing as a singer. Um, you know, how do you guys feel about that? Do you, um, are you the same way? Who's your favorite Misfits singer? And that's it. Again, thanks for liking and sharing this video. Um, remember to follow me on social media, and I'll just see you guys next time.